Hi everybody, today we're going to be twisting a little Easter basket right here. You can see I'll spin all the way around for you to see, okay? And markers optional on this one, you don't have to do it as you can tell. Um, because of the context in a basket, people will know that that's an Easter egg. But you could definitely do uh, spots on them or it depends on whatever you like. Uh, if it's a girl, maybe you could do hearts, right? So um, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go over the balloons. Um, I'll just talk about it right here. Uh, these are two rounds. Uh, green and a red that we're going to split. This is a 160 and this is a 260 that we're using there. So uh, with my tutorials what I always do is I bring the music down and then uh, we'll do voiceover as I twist and then I'm going to show you a, an alternate basket that you can do um, if you want to fill out this space on the bottom a little bit more. But first let's start with this one and then we'll go over to the other one after you see this one being made. So let's get to it. Here we go. All right, so I have actually sped up this section of the video just because the design is pretty easy. So uh, first thing we're gonna start with is we're going to split these rounds. Okay, so I have underinflated them. They're five inch rounds. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them and then I'm gonna twist them together so we get a four bubble cluster. So you can see that's what I'm taking care of right now. There we go. So that part is done. That's our eggs. And so we're going right to our 260 and I've inflated almost to the very end. I've left about uh, about two or three fingers in the end there So I did about an eight uh, Finger segment there did a pinch twist and then I just matched it and I'm gonna do another pinch twist on the other side and Then I'm gonna come back across along the bottom, but I'm gonna make this bubble slightly longer So it uh, causes the bo uh, the bubble to bow on the bottom so you can see that's the bottom of our basket there, okay? and now I'm just gonna go over the top there and um so what's going to happen here in a minute is I'm going to pop it. I'm going to end up with a tail. And I'm actually going to use that. Okay. So I need I'm just going to cut it. There we go. Okay. So you see I'm pushing it out of the way. So that way I can lay the eggs across the top there. And that tail. See that? I'm just going to pull it just so it goes to the pinch twist there. And at the same time, I'm making go through those, through that four bubble cluster that I made. And I'm just wrapping it up. And now I can bring the handle back over the top. There you go. It's pretty darn simple. And that's the neat thing about this design. Uh, it looks really cool. And so now I'm just doing the bow. I pre-made this bow and I'll make another one later. As you can see, it's just a, I left the tail on it there so that way I can just wrap it over the handle there and just wrap into that pinch twist. So it's just a, a loop, then a pinch twist and another loop. And if you uh, haven't made one of those, you can stick around for the next part and you'll see it being made there. But for the most part, this part of the design is done. So. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the next part. All right, so we made it to the end of that one. So hopefully that one wasn't too hard to follow along. And so let's talk about the alternative to that. Um, not much harder. We're going to almost start the same. Uh, just one extra step uh, before we make the rest of the basket the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to, the, get to that really quick. Again, I'll bring the sound down and we'll go right to the voiceover and then um, you'll see exactly how this is being made. The only thing I'm going to leave off this time, um, just because I didn't make another one, is the bow at the end. Or maybe I will. I'm undecided. But let's just do the uh, part that's different. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start like I did before. I'm going to split the two bubbles, getting a four bubble cluster. There we go. So again, I sped it up. Just so you know, uh, you, you already know it's about to go on. And so here's the addition. Um, because I want to fill out the bottom of the basket, I'm actually taking a third round that's inflated even bigger than the others, and I'm going to tie it into that four bubble cluster. So you see the nozzle's just going through there. And now I'm going to make the basket like I did before. See, so there we go. So we're going to start with another uh, about eight, uh, eight fingers pinch twist, then just match it. And I'm actually making a pinch twist now. There we go. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit it right underneath the four bubble cluster. There we go. And then I'll just grab that nozzle and I'm just going to twist it into there. Make sure it's in there secure. And now I can go underneath that new round that I just added that wasn't there before. And then I'll twist into the pinch twist and we'll just go over the top far handle now. So keep in mind that this does use up more of the balloon because we are going underneath that larger round. Um, so just take, you know, just keep that in mind that you're not going to end up with a little tail 
And so when you do get to the very end there, if you have a little bit, just wrap it around several times. So that way when you pop it, you don't lose that handle going over the top. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so once that is done, I had to end up biting that, <laughs> that darn balloon. It wouldn't pop. So anyway, there we go. That's what we got. And so I'm actually going to take time to go ahead and add the ball so you can see it being made. It's just a, a loop, a pinch twist, and another loop, and we leave a good, I would say a good amount of tail on it so that way it can wrap around there pretty easy. So we got our loop, pinch twist, and we follow it with another loop. If you've seen the bunny tutorial, I'm doing the exact same uh, ribbon or bow. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Like I said, I left tail, I just drop it through the top there, pull it around the back, and not too tight. I just want it to be nice and snug. I don't want it to bend or, or start to put a crease in the 260. So that pretty much brings the design to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm just gonna straighten it up a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty, so you can see uh, this is a few additions you can make. You can definitely do the little grass around the sides. Uh, maybe if you have um, the bunny prints, you could probably put it still fit a bunny on top in this little area right here. Just to dress it up even more, but just at least you have the basics here. And even the center part right here, um, you might have seen earlier, I also had written Happy Easter right there. So it just depends. And um, so anyway, um, that brings us to a conclusion. Hopefully you found this one and yeah. <laughs> this one useful as well. Uh, nothing too difficult and um, you know, just having fun with it. And as always, I leave you with happy twisting.